welcome to a special edition of Kaba Buying Today. I'm your guest host, Charmy Morales. And with me today is a very special guest, a good friend of mine. Would you please welcome contemporary jazz artist, Mr. Nair De Leon. Welcome, Nair. Hello. To the show. How are you? I'm good. And you? Good. It's awesome. good to be here. Oh, thanks for, be, for joining us today. Yes. Now, Nair, you are going to be on a world tour later this year. Well, I'm going to Qatar and also uh, Italy this coming October. Wow. Yes, I'll be releasing my uh, eight hymnal album. Oh, so it's yes. a Christian album that yes. you are promoting yes. right now. Yes. That's wonderful. Yes. Now, you know, okay, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Now, um, how did you learn to play the sax? I mean, how old were you when you first started playing? When I started playing saxophone, I was eight years old. I was taught by my... Uh, grandfather in way back in in the philippines yes. i didn't like playing saxophone because <laughs> i was forced i was <laughs> forced to play but now i'm, I'm all good but I aren't you glad that, that yes. they forced you yes yes yeah yeah kind of like it yes yes so besides your grandfather who was your greatest influence in playing my dad my dad travels around the world also so uh, he's a musician too yes he plays a saxophone he's the one who really truly oh. uh taught me that, you know, you need to go to school if you want to be full-time in music. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. he's the one who pushed me to get there, where I wanted wow. to be, you know. Yes. So it's a lot of blessings, yes. Cool. Now, um, what other places have you been to so far? Well, last uh, February, I just uh, went to uh, Korea. Mm. And for about a few years, I've been touring uh, Philippines, Dabao, Bacolod and just around Manila, yes. you know. Yeah. So I'm just doing my uh, little things here and there, but uh, it's all by God's provision. It's mm -hmm. all God's favor mm -hmm. that I, I am there. And this coming tour that I'm doing is under Lighthouse Bible Baptist Church mm -hmm. in uh, by uh, headed by Ruben Abante okay. in the okay. Philippines. So uh, they always uh, try to uh, send me to different places. And hopefully I get to Hawaii one of these days. Yes, <laughs> that would be great, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> now you mentioned Korea. Yes. What was your experience there like? I have never eaten so much kimchi in my life. <laughs> but you know what, I loved it. Yes. I loved it, I loved it so much. That I, when I got back here, I was asking my mom, Mom, we got to go back and have some, some Korean food and yes. stuff, you know. So now you know how to eat Korean food. Oh, yes. yes. I only know Korean barbecue. That's it. <laughs> yes, that's it, huh? But they have good food and they have good culture also. I know. And I, I just know. realized how much they love Filipinos there. Oh. They accepted us there. They, they welcomed us as their own people also. Yes, yes. So yes. How, were, how were they like us? You know, you, you said you, they, they're very accepting and all that. Yes. Um, they are very proper. Oh. I am talking about very uh, uh, respected people. They are Just one like of the, the most. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are yeah. very, very nice as far as uh, they uh, they concern about other people's uh, being and stuff. Because when we were there, we were actually trying to uh, do some fundraising for um, for Haiyan Typhoon. Yes, yes. And when we were there, we were able to get some money to send back to the Philippines. Okay. And I was able to meet a lot of good people like the prime minister mm. and some prominent pastors there. And don't ask me about their names because I'm not <laughs> going to be able to remember. Yeah. But yes, I had a great time. Oh, that's I'm so supposed to go back this coming October, yes. but because of this Qatar and also uh, Italy, mm -hmm. uh, it, there was, uh, uh, it didn't work out for me. So yes. Qatar and Italy. So you've never been to these places before? No, no. This will be my first time. So what are you looking forward to? I mean, when you... What are you kind of, um, uh, what do you want to experience when you get there? Well, first of all, I'd like to know the people. I'd mm -hmm. like to know their culture. I'd like to taste their food. Yes. Oh, I love to <laughs> eat, you know. And, and I'd love to be able to share what God has done in my life. I'm going to give them my testimony mm -hmm. and hopefully that, that, uh, that will bring in uh, salvation in, in, in those countries. Okay, you great. Know, yeah. For our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. Now, um, if you had a choice yes. to perform with anyone in the world on stage, who would that be and why? Oh, Andrew, uh, Andrea Bocelli. Oh. Yes. Because the opera I, singer. Yes, mm -hmm, yes. His mm -hmm. voice is just, I think, uh, it's just an ultimate voice that every time I, I hear him sing, it's, it calms me down and he gives me that... Uh, the, the sense of, you know, what the music is all about. Yes. yes. 
I mean, it's all about the, the romantic uh, music. It's all about the heart mm -hmm. and, and what kind of music that you wanted to convey to people. And his music is, I think, it's, it's uh, classy, it's high class, and it's, it's good, very good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, you've been performing all around. Yes. Uh, what can be the most memorable performance that you can share with us today? You know, I'd like to perform with, of course, live band, because when you pl play in the live band, that's when you uh, get to do whatever it is. Your your uh, artistry goes out from your heart. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that you practice at home, yes. it comes out from there as a jazz musician. And, and you get to, like, uh, do a lot of uh, experimental stuff. Yeah. And that's one thing I like about, you know, performance and stuff. I'd love playing with, with Taten Katindig. As a matter of fact, we are going to be at the Art Cafe, oh. Cerritos Town Center, with uh, uh, Eric Valentine and Andrew Ford on bass. Mm -hmm. And uh, Willie uh, uh, Bradley uh, is going to be our, our special guest, a trump great trumpet player. Yes, and so. this is part of the summer... The yes. summer series that they yes. have at the Art yes. Cafe, and this correct? is our third year there, that's so I'm very uh, blessed and fortunate to be there. So you're so in demand, that's why oh they're asking goodness. you back. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank well, you. so you're there twice a month, correct? Twice a month, every first and the third Friday of the month. Okay, Yes. Wonderful. So after this series, then I go on tour. Okay, great. And then I go be back here again on November and December, and I got like few uh, shows that's lined up already. Okay. And, but I could not remember on top of my head. That's <laughs> okay. Well, hold that thought in there. Yes. You know, uh, we'll be back for more Kababayan today in a moment. <laughs>